Today I will show you proof that I actually stole a broom from a forest witch. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Neymanya and welcome to another really fun episode. Today I will show you how to steal a broom from a forest witch. Actually, I will show you how to create this kind of photo manipulation and maybe give you some interesting ideas to create something on your own in a similar manner or maybe something completely different. And again, you will learn a lot of interesting tips, tricks and techniques from this one. So sit back, relax and stay with me till the end. And this episode is brought to you by Skillshare. So thank you Skillshare for that. Skillshare is a huge online learning community with more than 25,000 classes in practically anything that you can think of. Something like photography, videography, design, marketing, Facebook or Instagram marketing, business, cooking, running, 3D, like uh, Cinema 4D, ZBrush, 3D Studio Max, a lot of interesting things you can find there. So as you can see here on the screen, this Batman I made completely in ZBrush and then I render it in Cinema 4D. And because I don't show this in my channel, you can go to Skillshare and learn how to create superheroes or any kind of a 3D elements and later implement in your photos to make your photo manipulation even more interesting. They're pretty affordable. The annual plan is less than $10 per month. And because they're sponsoring this video, they are giving you two months completely free premium account there. So that means that you will gain access to all the content there. So I strongly advise you to go and take advantage of this opportunity. All you need to do is to follow the link down there in the description to gain two months completely free. And after that, if you like it, you can continue with the subscription. If you don't like it, you can just cancel it. No questions asked. So in two months, you can learn a bunch of stuff there and it's completely free. All right, guys, now let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. All right, guys, we are here in Photoshop and today we will start with this photo as our background. And also we will use myself as a thief and my friend Milena as a witch. Also some doors for the mushroom here etc. You can add even more elements later if you want. And here we will combine things that we already learned in some of previous tutorials, you will see. And uh, that's basically it. So first thing that I like to do is to make this scene darker. So I will duplicate this background by pressing Ctrl or Command J. And uh, I will convert it into smart object because I want to apply smart filter. So I will go to filter camera row and applied camera row as a smart filter to make the scene darker, more bluish. And uh, basically, that's it, you will see. So I want to make this a lot darker, a little bit desaturated too. So something around minus three exposures. So it's a lot darker than I want to make it bluish, something like that, this. Also, I want to desaturate it a bit and uh, maybe let me see i can open shadows a little bit and can lower the blacks but i want to go right here and go around blue color and just make everything more blue this is pretty cool let me see if i make this even more actually even less saturated something like this before and after this is cool like a night scene I like it uh, let me see all right and now when I press ok I have this as a smart filter so that means that I can double click on that and I can later decide maybe I don't like it so maybe I want to bring the exposure up or maybe I want to add a contrast or whatever I can always go and change. So for now, I leave it like this and continue with uh, adding other elements. So next element is let's start with let's start with Milena, right? And as you can see, I shot her here in the studio, just two lights and actually three lights. One is here on the front, just a little lit her from the front side a little bit and two lights from basically sides a little bit back. And I already extract her out of the background to save the time for this tutorial in case you don't know how to do this in case you don't know how to select anything in Photoshop and later extract it. You can watch my tutorial about that on the link right here and then do this for yourself. And also what I did here, let's zoom this a little bit. I made the head bigger. So I just cut out the head and make it bigger and that's it. Also, I have a tutorial how to do that on the link right here. So I will not waste your time here and do everything again. 
you already have full tutorial on these topics. So just go and watch them if you're not familiar how to do it. Just a quick reminder, I just use the lasso tool, lasso it out, make a copy of the head, make it bigger, fit it together, and that's it. Okay, so I will go and copy this witch right here. And before I continue with anything, I want to transform this into smart object because I want to be able to make this smaller and bigger without losing quality. So maybe I want this and then I change my mind. I want a little bigger, maybe like this and no problem. I will not lose any quality because it's contained in a smart object. Now let's go and do the same with me. As you can see, I have bigger head just to make everything more funny because you know I stole a broom from a forest witch in the middle of the night I woke her up she, I was so clumsy and she heard me that I am stealing the broom and I tried to run away and she tried to hit me and actually she hit me you will see later with some magic spells and burn my ass off so you will see All right and I will copy this and paste it right here again right click and convert to smart object and then control or command T and make it smaller so let me see this is cool just to see the size of the foot maybe a bit smaller something like that and I want to put myself somewhere here and maybe a little bit down why not just something like this Okay, now we will fix the white balance on those two models, on Milan and myself, because we are a little bit warmer than a background, and then we will continue with adding a few other elements. So let's do it. Uh, first, before I do that, I just want to make Milena, which a little bit bigger, maybe something like this and put her here. And also I want to make then myself a little bit bigger, not too much, maybe, maybe like this is cool. So. <laughs> For me, this is already too funny. All right, so now I will go and use the color balance adjustment layer to change the color balance, all right? Clip it to affect only the layer down below. And I want the mid-ons to bring a little bit towards the blue and cyan and also the shadows. So towards the blue and towards the cyan. Okay, so this is pretty cool. See the face, see that angry face. Don't steal my broom. How can I go tomorrow to work? by walking it. Oh, don't steal my broom. Okay, so, and I'm here like, ah, oh, don't hit my ass. Can I say this on YouTube? I don't know, but you will see the result. Okay, and uh, now I will just copy this same adjustment layer to myself here. Just press and hold Alt or Option key, drag it, release it and clip to affect only the model. And this is it, maybe, let me see, maybe, tweak a little bit because I'm a little bit closer to the light that is right here we cannot see it but I will I will make it later and for now we'll leave it like this all right so now let's make some shadows so first what I like to do I like to make shadow for myself I'll create a new layer below myself just uh, press and hold control click and call shadow okay and now I will create some really simple shadow just to trick the eye of the viewer and I will not make this too much complex. In case you want to know how to create realistic shadows, again, I have full tutorial on that on the link right here. Check it out, there are basically three types of shadows that you need to create, but here I'll just go with regular shadows. So what I like to do, I like to zoom this, I like to sample the color of the floor, put this layer into multiply blending mode, go with 100% opacity and a little bit harder brush, like this, that's cool, and I want to make the brush smaller and uh, what I want to do, I want to click right here and uh, press and hold shift and click right here. So this is like a long shadow, maybe it will be a little even longer, press control, command T, just make it longer. And here I can just make her make the shadow wider like this. And uh, as you can see, this is it, but this is not even close. So usually the shadow is more blurry as it goes further away from the object. So I will bl blur this part that is further away from myself and uh, then lower the opacity even, etc. So you will see now and then we will fake it and it will be pretty okay. So for that, I will use the smudge tool and I'll just smudge this as you can see, just to blur it, go 
back and forth and with this I'll make this blurry okay here this part a little bit less and also what I can do I can use a smudge tool to shape the shadow a little bit so this is my knee here something like this and maybe here is maybe here is the foot why not we can do that something like like this and also I want to blur everything here here I want to go like like that and also guys I can again press control or command T and make everything a little bit longer like this right click you can warp it even if you want so a lot of things that you can do again smudge tool and make this more interesting etc so this is pretty cool for me also i want this to bring under the foot like this and now i will create a layer mask go with the gradient tool and choose black color and here i will choose the second one black to transparent and i will just move this something like this and this is it also i can go and use a brush and maybe 10 percent opacity and i just want to remove this part I don't like it too much okay and uh, this is it this is cool pretty cool shadow in just a couple of seconds nothing special but now we can copy the same shadow to the witch down below yeah I know it's strange uh, sounds strange to copy the same shadow but we will modify it so here is a shadow for the witch and again I will go with the smudge tool and uh, I will just modify this no problem so something like this just I don't want to be the same so this is cool and everything else is pretty okay maybe here to modify this a little bit and uh, that's pretty cool so now let's group everything this is which press control command G and this is a thief so again press control command G and this is it right I have this folder door I will show you in a moment uh, why I left it here and uh, for now this is pretty cool those guys has shadows maybe what I can do I can go to shadow lower the opacity a little bit maybe around 80 and the same for the thief here lower the opacity of the shadow like 80 and this is pretty cool and then add another one that I want to clip to affect only this shadow and put again in the same multiply blending mode and just make this part a bit darker with I'm using really soft brush now okay because I want to have soft transitions this is cool and then maybe even lower the let's let me see yeah I just want this part a little bit darker and this is around 75 and here mm, I don't need to do anything so let's collab this let's just check it yeah pretty cool okay and now what I like to do I like to add some elements to the mushroom so as you can see here we have a door and I will go with uh, elliptical marquee tool and just select the door so with the space I'm moving the selection and uh, I just want to select the door like this pretty cool press ctrl c or command c and here i want to press ctrl or command v to make it bigger ctrl command t to transform it and make it smaller and this is the door for the mushroom something something like this i will move it all the way down below the witch okay but not in the same group right here okay this is the door and because you can see the doors are a little bit washed out there are no so much black colors in it I will press ctrl or command L to lower the levels and you can see there are no information of the black so we'll move this until we read this end so I don't want to be so washed out so now I have the door in the same contrast like everything else again I want to maybe make it smaller something like this put it here and I can leave it like this and these doors right here let me show you has the same thing like this okay 
they're a little bit smaller so I will delete the new one I did the same exactly the same put a door here this is it and then I use a mask layer mask here just to erase this down part because I want to make impression that the doors are behind these branches and this is what I did with the levels or with the curves is the same and then I just painted this with uh, this orangey yellowish tone because like I want to make impression that there are actually no doors just a hole and there's some light going uh, from inside outside and this is it and how I did it like I did in a lot of previous tutorials I just use a layer and paint it with just normal let's let's see paint it with some normal color okay just paint it like this then I use another layer put it in linear dodge blending mode actually this is the copy of the same layer and just to make it a little bit brighter and then another layer in a linear dodge blending mode I just painted with some tone some yellowish yellowish tone to have this glow effect so let me show you really quickly linear dodge blending mode choose some yellowish color orange yellowish but dark one and I used soft brush really soft brush maybe 10% opacity and this is it I just I just did this I just paint this so as you can see it's the same okay and I can make it even more pronounced if I like not bad let's leave it maybe something something like like that okay and this is how I made a door here for the mushrooms you can add windows you can add whatever you want here you can create any kind of effect I will not uh, do uh, here these things because I'll show you the principle how you can do it now it's up to you and your creativity to add here to stack a lot of elements if you like it okay now let's go and add the uh, effect of lighting is hitting my butt and my butt is on fire so let's do it okay let's collapse these groups first and then I will go to which group and create new layer about everything and name it lightning okay and here you can do this in several different ways I will choose white color you can make uh, something like harder brush 100% opacity smaller brush and just draw draw something like this maybe even smaller brush you know and even smaller maybe just draw something like this however we want but what I will do here I will use my lightning brushes my custom-made lightning brushes if you want to use them too you can go to my website the link is down there in the description and you can purchase it just for one dollar or also you can go and watch my tutorial about how to create these brushes on link right here all right so right click let's go and find this is lighting brushes I have this set of seven brushes I will use not this one not this one let me see which one this one this one is perfect so I will just click it here Control or command T rotate it and uh, put it right there okay this is one end right here and another end will hit let's make this smaller let's make this smaller so one end it's here and another end will hit right here okay so this is cool and uh, now what I like to do I like to add some effects so before I do that let's switch back to regular soft round brush that's cool and I want to double click right here go to outer glow effect and I want bluish tone so so something like this would be okay and also you can play with the size with the spread etc so I will leave it maybe something like this right and let's delete these things because I don't like them here and this is perfect this is great for a start then what I like to do next is to add another layer put it in a linear dodge blending mode and I want to create some kind of a glow here so I'm using a brush with maybe 20% opacity white color and you can see something like this then another layer same linear dodge blending mode and I want to choose some kind again of a bluish tone darker one like this and add this blue glow make brush bigger and bigger okay so this is cool a little bit bigger a little bit smaller like this 
right and and go and just go around this a little bit too so like here is wider and there is more narrow but this is the effect i like it i can even go and create a new layer again the same linear dodge blending mode because this is cool for glows and we'll go with the white again and just do like this and again with the blue okay okay this is perfect so that's cool and also i want to do the same thing for her eyes so i'll create a new layer and go to linear dodge blending mode add and uh, go to, uh, to the eyes with a white color. I just want to make this bright like this, completely white. Then another one, again in the same blending mode with the blue color, as you can see right here. And I want to add the glow, as you can see. Like, she's so angry. There is a magic in her eyes and it's crazy. Like, really crazy. Right, yeah, this is what I like. Okay, so we're done with her for now. And now let's concentrate on this part of my body. So for that, we will need a fire. So I will just go and select this portion of an image. Maybe this one, why not? Controller command C, put it here, go to teeth and just paste it right here. Put in a screen blending mode, just to get rid of a black color, make this smaller. And now let's let's just adjust it here. So I want to make it even smaller, like this. It just part of my butt is is on fire. So this is not bad, right? Let me see. Yeah, this is cool. I want to add a mask and erase a little bit harder brush. 100% opacity. I want to erase from the fingers. Like I want to hmm, how you say it to, to turn off the fire. I don't know. To just you know poof. And this part is not anymore on the fire, but only this left left part of my butt is on fire. Okay, so this is cool. And now I want to add some smoke here. So this is smoke, new layer. And for the smoke, I will use my custom made smoke cloud dust brush. In case you don't know how to do it, how to create your own custom made smoke cloud dust brush, you can watch my tutorial about that right here. Or you can go to my website and just purchase the set of my smoke brushes for just $1. The link is down there in the description. It's your choice. Okay, so for that, I will go right here, choose this cloud dust number two choose the white color and just add a little bit of a smoke. Okay, and then I want to choose a black color and add black, like uh, everything is black, but I want to put this beneath the fire. So uh, it's black smoke going on here, a little bit more white, like it's really burning. Okay, and here maybe a little bit black smoke. Okay, this is cool. And also I want to add another layer above smoke number two. And I just want to add a little bit of white smoke here. That's pretty cool. Then what I need, I need a new layer. This is, this is light from the fire. I want to put it in linear dodge blending mode. Okay. And I will use the same brush, but this time I will choose darker orange tone and uh, I just want to paint here on the hands maybe even more reddish like this paint on the head hand like here here and now I'll go with the regular soft brush and just just paint some light here okay don't worry that I'm going off the model I'll fix that really easily so for now, I just want to add a little bit of the light. Maybe raise it here like this. Okay, and now I want to move it right here and clip it to affect only the model. So this is before, this is after. This is pretty cool. I'm burning. That's really cool. 
and maybe a little bit here and just a little bit there that's it okay now i want to blur this flame a little bit so filter blur gaussian blur just a little bit not so much maybe something like like this would be cool 0 0.4 before and after i just don't want to be so sharp and uh, i can transform it a little bit more so maybe even more here and then erase with a layer mask from the hands okay this is cool and now what i can do i can add some uh, particles from the fire around this so i will create a new layer and go and choose my particle brush so this is my particle brush and uh, because you don't know how to create it i already did that in one of my tutorials but let me show you one more time why not so i will create a new layer control or command and i will use maybe i don't know 2000 by 2000 72 dpi and this is white layer and this is my this is how my brush looks so what's the point the point is to create some kind of shapes just some small shapes like particles with a lasso tool i'm holding alter option key and just making some smaller some bigger and this is it and now i will fill it with black control and backspace because the black is background color and now i will go with this edit define brush preset name it and now we have it but this is not good enough what we need to do now is to go press f5 go to brush properties choose shape dynamics change the size jitter angle and roundness a little bit now you can see it's already better then i want to go to scattering scatter it a little bit perfect and go to spacing and just make some spacing too and that's basically it of course you can go and play with this however you want and always go back and forth and change the uh, properties in the brush panel but for now this is cool i don't want to save this document and what i like to do here i want to choose this color okay and i just want to maybe a little bit reddish i just want to add those like particles from fire you know this is pretty cool okay and uh, i can even blur it if i want but i don't need it this is pretty pretty cool i'm pretty satisfied all right and that's that's the point here just to add to build up the effects add one on top of another and make this even more interesting it's up to you how many effects you want to build on this scene i'm just showing you pretty quickly the procedure the point the ideas the thinking behind all of this and then it's up to you to invest a little bit more time and to tweak the effects to tweak overall image to make it even more perfect so for now this is pretty good i'm satisfied and now what i like to do i like to add some smoke and debris right here on the floor so i will create a new layer this is like uh, particles from fire okay and this is smoke floor smoke okay so i will again use my smoke cloud brush perfect choose this color of the ground and just just add like the dust from running you know just a little bit of effect i can always transform this and maybe warp it a little bit like this and then i want to add some debris and again i have a debris brush available on my website for purchasing it's again just one dollar so in case you want it you can use that too i just want to use some kind of uh, darker color maybe like this one make the brush bigger and just just maybe here just like like this go back and forth and this is just small details that i like if i zoom the image i can see that something is going on here maybe i i just you know when you run and maybe you can just pull the ground a little bit up some debris are flying around etc some dust etc so i will do the same for the witch so i'll close the teeth group go to the witch again this is debris 
and uh, maybe here just a little bit just like like that maybe a little bit bigger let me see okay some of them will definitely not be visible because it's dark but when you zoom it this is smoke when you zoom it this is not how you spell smoke <laughs> okay uh, now a little bit of the smoke right here from running and this is cool all right so that's basically it let me just check again of course you can play even more with some elements maybe make the fire a little bit bigger right here i don't know why not yeah like that that's better and the smoke here i can play with uh, the smoke a little bit lower the opacity maybe add a few more layers of the smoke maybe expand it a little bit like this why not a lot of things is available here for this kind of effect okay this is pretty cool now what i like to do i want to collapse all the groups let's put this into a background group and of course guys now you can play even more with effects you can add even more dodging and burning on the models if you want to uh, maybe make the models a little bit brighter or darker in a certain parts etc i'm pretty happy for this tutorial uh with this kind of result also guys you can put some maybe animals here there i don't know in the scene just to add even more details to the scene i will not do this because this is already a uh, longer tutorial so i don't want to waste your time but i'm just giving you some ideas and the point of all of this is just to get know the uh, tools and uh, techniques how you can do something and then you can do it on your own so this is basically it and now i will merge everything together with shift Control alt or shift command option e on a mac in the new layer i will go to filter i will go to camera row filter okay and what i like to do i like to make a little bit brighter a little bit contrast open shadows a little bit add textures and clarity and uh, I want to add some vignetting. Oh, I forgot to add that light, sorry. So let's cancel this, let's delete this. The light, let's add a light. Okay, it's pretty simple. I just need to use a regular soft round brush like this, white color and 100% opacity, that's cool. And I will just click here and here. I don't like my hat, so I will just, I will just, go over it like this maybe here maybe one more here like this this is pretty cool and now i'll go to filter blur gaussian blur and blur these light rails a lot something like like this perfect put this into screen blending mode or or you can use overlay if you want but i like screen blending mode lower the opacity like this, you can transform it, you can make this edge and this edge a little bit like this. And now I want to add a layer mask and again the same gradient tool and just no, just just do this and lower the past a little bit. So I just want to add some kind of lights from the right side of the image. I just like it like that. And now I will merge everything together, shift control alt e or shift command option e on a Mac filter camera roll filter and just add a little bit contrast a little bit brighter open shadows add some textures this is really cool slider a little bit clarity then add vignetting like this then i can go with the split toning and add even more bluish tone here okay and uh, also what i can do let's sharpen this a bit you already know when you hold alter option key you will see the mask so everything what is white will be sharpened what is black will not be affected okay so this is cool and also i will go with the radial filter and make myself a little bit brighter so see just a touch a little bit clarity don't want to do anything else and same for for the model right here okay and i will press okay so let me see 
before and after really cool also guys we can add some kind of a mask black mask on my face on my eyes like i'm a thief and i don't want to be recognizable so let's do that let's create a new layer this is face mask eye mask doesn't matter and how to do it let me just show you i like to use lasso tool i like to just go and choose the shape of the mask going over the nose right here okay and this is it and I will fill it with the black okay and then I like to delete this part but I will use myself here as a selection so control or command click on the model so I have this as a selection and go and just create a mask so that's cool and I want to erase everything that is going over the hat right here just like this and then I want to erase parts where the eyes are okay so just just this know what I'm talking about this kind of teeth masks and this is cool and then right here for another eye a little bit more right here oops like I want nose to be intact so this is pretty cool right and this is really cool result so before mask with a mask i think it's much better it's more fun and this is really cool also guys you can use nicolor fx pro i like to use it a lot in my photo manipulations you know that if you watched uh, my previous photo manipulation tutorials it was free now i think it's not free but maybe you can find it somewhere for free just check it out try google it i don't know if you can still find it for free but it's really cool and you can add some kind of cool contrast and uh, maybe some detail extractor etc and after applying the nicol fx pro you'll get this kind of result Alright guys, so that's it for today. I really hope that you like this tutorial and that you learn something new, fun and interesting from this one. And also that you maybe get some idea for your future photo manipulation. Maybe something similar like this, maybe something completely different. It doesn't matter. What matters is just to practice, experiment and have fun doing it. Also guys, if you have any questions regarding this episode, just leave me down there in the comment section below. I will be glad to answer it. And also, if you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better, you can do it by visiting my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description and you will get some things in return like my PSD files, etc. Just check it out. Also, don't forget to click on the link down there in the description to go to Skillshare to gain two months completely free and gain some new skills, some new knowledge there. If you like this episode, if you appreciate this content, just press the like button, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe in case you're not already and also ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes. Have fun, experiment and see you guys in my next fun tutorial. Bye bye.